Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update and reboot for the whole collection Project Pan 2.0 that I am doing with a bunch of lovely ladies this year. I'm really excited about this um, because I get to roll out some products that I don't want to work on anymore. We are working on 10 items that is randomly selected from our collection so we don't get to choose them ourselves. So that's why we implemented a reboot halfway through and that is for this update. I have decided to roll out six out of the ten and of course kept four in. So let me just show you the six products that I'm rolling out and the progress overall on my products. Okay the products that I'm rolling out of the project is firstly a very obvious one if you saw my last update and that is the Paulina palette from Blush Tribe. I did a Franken with friends and Sigge these two greens up here. My goal was to hit pan on this and I would have hit pan if I didn't do a Franken anyway so I just kept it in because it it felt silly to roll in a new product last time. I don't I don't know if I did. I don't think so. But yeah, I'm rolling out friends for this project um, at the reboot. And let's see if I get another product from this. Because last time or last year that I did whole collection project pan, I also got this, and I was working on aubergine down here. The next product that I'm rolling out is my Dove Seven Matte Me Blush. Um, in El Toro. This is the product. As you can see it is a very dark blush and I don't use it for the springtime and summer uh, or summer so I'm going to roll this out. I know we are halfway through summer almost but I just want to work on something else. I don't reach for it and I don't see myself to hit pan hitting pan on this in the fall time anyway, so let me just pick a new product and make it fun again. <laughs> I'm going to roll out the bronzer. I know it has only been here for like a few months, but I am focusing on my Franken bronzer in my 20 in 2020. Um, so I'm going to roll this out. This is the W7 Honolulu, Honolulu bronzer and yes, it is a dupe for the Hula bronzer from Benefit. But I'm going to roll this out because I don't see myself hitting pan on this because I really want to finish my Franken bronzer this year, this eyeliner. I have only used it like a couple of times this entire half year so I don't see myself working on this. Um, I have used it like five times in the past six months. So that says a lot that I need to roll this out and try to work on something else. If I get another eyeliner in this line, fair enough. I'm going to declutter them and I want to get some more use out of them, but for the sake of the reboot, I'm going to roll this out. This is the W7 Petal to the Metal Duochrome Eyeliner in Stay Mary Golden. This beautiful gold color. I just don't feel like it. So this is being rolled out as well. I'm going to roll out these two Libbies because I just have too many in the project. I know I only have one left. Yes, one left to work on in this project, but I am working on a quite a few overall in other project pans. So I'm going to roll these out because I don't, I don't gravitate towards them. They are from the metallic matte mattes line from uh, W7. It is SOS and Apollo. SOS is the brown one, and Apollo is the orange one. These two right here, they are absolutely beautiful lipsticks, but. If I don't gravitate toward them um, in this project, it doesn't really make sense to have them in. That was the six items that I am rolling out. And let me just show you quickly the four products that I still have in and why I have them in still. The first product is very obvious that I still have in. I could roll it out and just finish it, but it's more fun to finish it in a project. This is the Women London Lasting Finish 20. 5 hour nude foundation in ivory. This is the one and this is my progress. I know I said last time that I could finish it and I almost have. I'm actually ready to uh, depart the rest of the bottle what is left into another container so I can use it up because today when I want to use it I couldn't pump anymore and I do know there's a little bit left um, so I could call it done but I could also have the satisfaction 
uh, to finish it in a project. So that is what I'm going to do. I have marked it right here where the window stops. So I'm all the way to the bottom. It's kind of sad and satisfying at the same time to see that much of a gap. I'm excited to have this done by next update. Um, well, in the next week. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, very satisfying to have this done before summer is over. Then we have the Diver 7 Brow Sweep uh, Grooming Crayon. This one right here. I haven't used it in the last month or two. Maybe one and a half. I only have this little product left and I do know I can finish it in the next couple of months. So that is why I am going to have it in because I really want to finish it and work on it and not forget it in my collection and this way I don't do that. The next product that I am keeping in the project is the MAC Brave lipstick and I am keeping this in even though I haven't made progress on it for the, a very long time at least. Um, this is all I have left and I do think I can finish this by the finale and I'm keeping it in because it is a perfect everyday color for at least the yeah for everyday color all seasons of the year so that is why I'm keeping it in. It's not quite free so that is also why I keep it in to finish it off um, and I want to keep this in and not the other two because I gravitate towards this and I can reapply um, and work with this very easily. So that is what I am going to do. And the last one is a blush that I rolled in. Was it last time? Did I roll this in last time? I think I did. Um, this is the Benefit Deluxe Size uh, Sample Blush. Deluxe Size Blush in Rocketour. You can definitely see that the Rocketour or just Rock. I think this uh, imprinted in the product it is slowly wearing off so that is my progress for this month I do use it every single time I wear makeup and I bought with it I bought it with me on vacation and everything sadly I will say that it is not that pigmented anymore so I am mixing it with uh, the Carolista blush that I am working on in my 100% uh, Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan. And that is a beautiful combo. I have it on right now. It is slightly pigmented on your cheeks, but to make it a little bit more powerful, you need to mix it with something else because it is getting old. It is from 2015, so that is why. But yeah, I'm happy to be working on that a little bit more because I think it is a good thing that is not very pigmented and not a weird color or anything. So I can work with that every single day. Okay, I have my spreadsheet here and I have put random here, which is one, two, 284 products. Let me just record the screen real quick. And yes, let's just choose our six new products. First one is 34. If it is something that I'm already working on uh, in a project, I will roll again. This is an eyeliner. It is the Dove 7 Love Line Eyeliner. That is a black liquid liner, so that is fine, I think. <laughs> I think. Another one. 242. That's a lip product, I'm pretty sure. Dove 7 Revel Secret in Vino Tino. I, that might be a red. Third one is 101. The Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Palette. That is a highlighter palette and then we can randomly choose one uh, one of those shades that is 8 in them. The next one is 200 straight. So that is the fourth product. That is a lip gloss. There is even Metal Kiss in Ace Face. I don't remember what color that is. Let's see the fifth product, 116. Oh god, that is a eyeshadow palette. It is the Morphe 35K palette that I have in my Mission 100% Cruelty Free. And we are going to randomize a shadow from that one and half of that is very dark. So. That is going to be interesting to see if I can hit pan on that one. And the last product is 145. 
an eyeshadow single that I just rolled out for my Single Ladies and My Man Mad project pan that I ended. Um, and I actually don't want to use uh, that shadow just because I just rolled it out of a project. So I'm going to cheat and <laughs> pick again. 117. Can we, can we, can I cheat? I'm cheating. That is the 35OM palette from Morphe. I'm already working on one palette and that is enough. 164. Please be something that I can use. Isn't that the thing that I'm working on in my 2020? It is. 105. Please be something that I can work on, please. <laughs> Another highlighting palette. No way. 126. Let's just do it. I think that can work. It is my W7 Delicious Eyeshadow Palette and I that is a neutral and kind of reddish pinkish um, eyeshadow palette and that actually worked quite well with the shadows that I am panning in my Panda palette right now. So that is what I'm going to choose. So let me get the products and I will be right back with the products. For some reason, I can't find my Mega Revolution highlighting palette, so I just chose um, the highlighting palette that I re-rolled yeah, when I got the numbers here. Um, so let's just start out with that, shall we? This is the Sleek Makeup uh, highlighting palette in Solstice that um, I had in my Roulette Pan Collab that I had a goal for using each shade five times so let's roll a number in here so that is one two four in here pick one and it is number four so let's go one two three four so that is the peachy shade which i am okay happy with actually it matches the brush that i am working on right now and i'm panning a pink highlighter and a peach highlighter so that is working out very nicely so that is the first new roll-in. I don't think I can hit pan, so maybe a goal of like 20 uses or something would would be possible. Now that I'm panning another highlighter to hit pan on. I don't know. Let's just see. I will um, make a goal and write it down below or mention in next update. I chose my Dove 7 uh, Delicious palette. And it looks like the Modern Renaissance palette. So that is 14 shades, right? So I'm going to change this to 14 and randomize one. Number 12. So 14, 13, 12. of course, <laughs> it is one of the pink shades that I need to hit pan on and that is the shade right there. I'm going to make a goal for 20 uses and if I don't hit pan before the 20 uses, I am just going to roll it out when I hit that goal. But yeah, 20 uses for this one. The last one that I need to roll shades from is my Morphe 35K palette. And this is the one right here. And yes, I have some markings because I have it in another project. Um, so I can keep track of what shades I have used and stuff like that. For the sake of this video and this series, I'm going to choose a, pa a pan of shadow to pan on. Um, and that will take me a few months if I remember correctly for the OM palette last year. And that is number 16. So 14, 15 and 16. It's actually a shadow that I haven't used yet in my Mission 100% Cool to Free project pan. So that is actually really nice to have chosen this because now I need to use it. So I will try to have pan on this one. This is like a shimmer. I think, yeah, it is a shimmer. Um, let's see how pigmented that is. Let's make a swatch of this one and the shadow from the Delicious palette. A swatch of the highlighter. I don't know how well these are going to go together, but here they are at least. So these are the new shades that I'm working on. Things that I need to hit pan on, I'm going to have a goal for 20 uses and it, when I hit that, I can roll something new in. 
and if I hit pan on it before that, I am going to roll it out at that point. The liquid lipstick that I chose was indeed a red one. It is the Velvet Secret from W7 in Vino Tino. So this is a red liquid lipstick. And I'm going to use this 20 times as well and then we... I'm going to use a set a number goal from now on, I think. Um, and not just to hit pan. Easier, you know. Um, and then we have the W7 Metal Kiss. It is a tinted lip gloss. It's really, really nice, actually. This is the more wearable, wearable one. This one right here. It's actually really beautiful. It's like a rose gold lip gloss. So maybe it can go well on top of this lip color I have on. And the last one I have is an eyeliner, indeed. It is the W7 Love Line. Um, eyeliner. It has an eyeliner and a stamp. The stamp is a heart, which is actually really fun. Let's see. I don't think there's much pigmentation in the heart. It's quite fun, but I'm going to focus on the regular eyeliner side. Um, so let's see how much I am going to use this one because I am working on a dual eyeliner that is black also. also. I don't know. But yeah, let me just use this 20 times as well because it is on the older side and maybe it is drying out. I have a stored uh, upside down for the eyeliner side, so that should be nice. You can definitely see that is not as dry as the heart itself. That is everything for this video and my six new roll-ins. I'm pretty excited about it and I think I made it fun again. The four products that I still have in from... Uh, the previous products, the previous half year, are products that I really want to work on still. So I'm pretty happy about my 10 products, even though then once I got this time around, it's also hard, but most of the items that I have in my collection and that I have many of are hard items, so I don't really mind. I love to play around and I think the 20 uses goal for these products are very manageable and I'm pretty excited about it and I'm excited to be working on them and make some progress and get some use out of them, basically. <laughs> that is my panning style at the moment, to get use out of my products and this is the perfect way to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the other ladies and Emily, of course, and Sarah that joined us all together. I will leave them all down below on YouTube and Instagram, at least their channels. And yeah, until my next video, please take care. Bye. Yeah.